It's Ad Reality. The Power Boat's location, we actually shot a short film there some years ago. And I think John had the idea of, you know, that location would probably be the best suited for this J3 ad. I always, you know, told myself that I wanted to use that location for one of my commercials. This is the monitoring area. We have to make sure that um, Jonathan does not screw up. So, we preview here. I want, I want this thing move from here. Uh, you might see it come in. You follow okay. again. This is how I move, Josh. My man. Come in? Yeah, you want to tell him how to move. What is how to move? This is how to move, so that means we, we can't organize it. What's that? What kind of time are you looking at? I still have the man move out this thing. What sucked? about that location is the fact that we only had it from like 8 o'clock in the night till 5 or 4 o'clock in the morning. So we couldn't start shooting until all the boats that were on the, that were at sea, you know, they had to come and dock in and, and then they had to get washed down and when they get washed down then they were racked up. If I knew that from before I would have said there's no way that we could shoot all these scenes, all these shots within that time frame. You see what time? Oh, my watch used to do that. I miss that. Yes. I do it all the time. Even I know. I when I first got it, bing, bing, bing. And it's a nice color glow as well. I like yes. it. We will finish tonight, right, y'all? I had to cut out a lot of these shots because... We didn't have time. It's now 20 past 11. I have the extras until 12 o'clock and we haven't started shooting as yet. When my extras woke up in the next half an hour, um, we'll be left with no talent. We're starting with the crowd shots, trying to get rid of all these girls as soon as possible. So hopefully within half an hour, we could just like swing the camera around and get all the white shots that we need. They are going to come and beg me to keep the extras longer. The talent is going to come and ask me for more money. So, um, yeah, so, um, yeah. Yeah, but we do need them come. I'm a custom. I'm not sweating at all. Last minute castings. Why do we always have or seem to have last minute castings? As a matter of fact, last minute paintings. We do not have a little last minute casting here. For the, uh, what is it? 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 No, like she has a look, I mean, she's gorgeous, she has a face, but we had to find somebody else who could give me that action because I doing the action better than her, not so. You just have, you just have the look, you have the look. Yeah, it's not a, I don't have the action. Yeah, you're like, you just had to remain in your like sexy zone, selling outfits. And, That's real good. She was better in her action, but I find she's still missing a little bit. Wow, that red hammer. The hammer was red. Red isn't really my color. And big. It was huge. It's too big, I find. I think all the ladies could have fit in the hammer. Very nice and sparkly. We got a Tencent Tex license plate for the front. That guy keeps his vehicle in a like mint condition. What? Do you love your car? Oh, very much so. I shipped it all the way from Brooklyn, New York to Trinidad. So. It was humming. Yeah, yeah. 
don't you, think you are <laughs> We are not shooting for another day. You get this organized tonight. Do you hear me? No! Do you hear what I'm telling you? No. Can I tell you something? Did you tell that to John? It's not John, you have to tell. It's not John, you have to tell. Wrong John line. doesn't hear anything God you tell him. God damn it! You need to go and tell John. Josh! Yeah. There you go. You all need to get on as if we're in Zen or wherever all this go in night. You understand? Know, just get on like crazy people. Right? So I just want real hype energy. Anybody who don't give me that, I'm pulling all the out of the crowd. One time. But just remember, the most important thing for this is she's knees. But in between, y'all still give me some energy still. Right? You know? Did she sell the she's knees? And action! This is such a break for me. Did she sell the she's knees? When I put on the hoodie, it just gets a little, it gets to about 80%, right? Sunglasses on, it's like, oh yeah, it's like, somehow I just switch. I, I don't know what happens. It just, but when the chain goes on, it's all about the chain. The chain that we constructed was actually a dog chain that we did, and the 10 cents piece was a, a number for a house that we glitz up, you know, with glitter and stuff like that. When that chain pops on there, right, you can even feel it and you see, just see shine. You know, it's just like, you, it's like you, you, you're in it now, you know. You reach now and then you start to feel like, you know. Yeah, shorty, that's what we're talking about, 10 cents. See my bling, damn it. Is it shining back into your eyes? Is it blinding you, huh? That's what we're talking about. It just happened, once the chain reached there and pop on, as it is like Transformers, <laughs> just like that. Kaffer's wardrobe was actually, you know, it was him off the bat. What is this squeaky fella doing with a dog chain around his neck and tight, tight jersey? And I don't know if he was drinking the night before, so his belly actually filled the entire t-shirt. I have a little bit of a little belly, nothing too big, but decent, you know, decent, decent size little belly. His first jersey that we got him was real tight, ring. Is it true that you're wearing a lady's shirt? <laughs> <laughs> they got me this t-shirt. It is a girl's shirt. I didn't want to go so far. It was a lady's t-shirt. I got in a store and a guy told me, he says, you want that? It's not for a man, you know, it's for a girl. And I said, perfect. It will work. So, you know, that's why it was tight. Uh, I don't know what you're talk talking about. I, don't, I have no idea what you're talking about. I, girl, I, I never wore a girl's shirt. I, why would I wear a girl's shirt? I don't, <laughs> I don't know where you get your information from. I... <laughs> Why would I be wearing a girl shit? It just don't make any sense. When we started shooting, they had to keep cutting and we doing it over and then makeup and then when Joshua told us one more I promise I look at him and I'm like ah oh. so then he said you come here so I'm like oh my god he gonna kick me out we're trying out her to see if she could do the part of the scuba girl so we're gonna try this girl out let's see how she does and action I think there's was running through like different girls on the spot to see who could do that part and she probably did it the best so I guess that's why they choose her. Well I say my prayers and I I left home with the confidence that I am not going to be no extra. Fortunately he brought this super outfit first at how whatever or got a clock to this, this, this tonight this morning. After she dressed down in that scuba gear kit 
Don't just flip us and all and everything like that and she have the goggles on her and all We have to wet down the girl so she look like she now come out in the water. Hey. Oh. <laughs> oh, I felt really bad when it was she got wet but it was very much necessary for the absolute stupidity of, of her role. We can't even put her in the car fully because it was in our car. So we can get the car wet. Even if it means in this sweatsuit, when I came here today, I say, you know what? Something, I'm gonna get something bigger. Stay tuned for the Mountain of Ten Cents for Digicel.